I'm playing Ace Maiden. Um, this happens to be a, a uh, an aluminium tube. It's actually two and a half inches, it's quite long. Uh, so the Ice Maiden has a, a pearl mylar body. So we take a bit of pearl mylar and we're going to cut it a bit longer than we actually need because we're going to leave the frayed ends of it here at this end. So put it up against your tube and measure it for length, so roughly there. that off and then take out the central core. So the end of mylar tends to unravel itself a little bit as you put it onto things but we actually want that in this case. So because mylar is essentially one of those Chinese finger traps you can't pull it on so you have to push it on so then it gets slightly wider and you may even have to sort of twist it a little bit as it goes on just to get it over this first bit. So, it's actually going here um, longer than the length of our tube. Now, take a red thread because we have a red butt of this. Trim that off. And take our super glue. Super glue. Three, four inches of that, and then we're essentially creating, you know, a finish like a like a head here. But because we're wrapping into the super glue, uh, all the wraps, you know, that the super glue was on that has created almost like a, a bubble of super glue there. And then as your wraps go on, they actually go down into that. Cut that off. So, head of the fly is black. So we're going to swap onto black tie-in silk here. So we take this mylar and sort of slide it this way to tighten it down onto the tube. And here, just start off well back of it, but none of these loops, if you look at them, are actually tying anything or themselves in. But it allows me to wrap the mylar forward. Each wrap sort of pushes it that little bit. And we get to the front here, where, because essentially we're just going to tie a head, we then put a couple of wraps back over so that the thread stops falling off. Unravel this. And again, super glue. And put a few wraps over that. Tie that off. So you might ask why am I taking my thread off? What we do first is use a blade and use the rotation of your vise to go around and that should cut off all that mylar. And neat. So this fly is going to have a, a wing of bucktail but if we put the bucktail on here it'll just stick to the butt before the year before it dries so either you have to stop at this point and wait for that to dry or what I've done is I have several on the go and you may even want to put another coat of clear varnish or something over that. So I have one I've done before which is now dry so we put that back into the holder it up and then go back to our black thread and attach that on. Mix that up and create a little bed. Now, the wing and the ice maiden's three portions uh, of bucktail, so the predominant is white. So I'm taking some good straight white bucktail from the tip of a bucktail. If you want you can line up the tips but it's not overly natural. This one's quite 
nicely lined anyway and we want to put that on so that it's longer than our tube but and then just allow it to splay all around Use your finger and thumb to just allow that to move around. So now we're going to put in a few bits of flash. So I'll take a, a strand here of this is peacock mirage, but you could use blue or pearl or whatever. Double it over so there's two strands there. Bring that underneath, tie it in and cut it off for length. And then on the side, I'm going to take a bit of pearl crystal here, or two strands of it actually, and do the same thing. I'm putting it in a little bit shorter than the bucktail itself. yellow and a little bit of blue bucktail going to go in here so again we're going to take a, a bunch of straight yellow or lemon I think calls for splay it out and allow that to envelop the whole way around that sort of a loose wrap on to hold it in place and then another portion of blue or ice blue get rid of the short stuff thread and here I'm wrapping forge and backways so we we'll cut this off we'll take our uh, and rotate Now you don't have to put on jungle cut here, I just like putting on very small ones just as a sort of a focal point. Uh, so I'm going to take two small jungle cut. I'm going to 
from them doing. this one up over there. So essentially that's our flight hide now, and that is our finished Ice Maiden variant.